I never get on live anymore. Those people irritate me real bad. Let's pull over right here though. Oh, thank you, little Fiat. Oh, yeah. Oh, I'm about to pull over to talk to y'all. Should I go on TikTok? No, TikTok be tweaking. Anytime I say anything. My nails are kind of like boring and classy because I asked my boo, I was like, what, what freaking nails do you want me to get? And he was like, these don't look right. <laughs> Just classing it up, huh? Anyways, um... Damn, my life is not jumping no more. It's crazy. It's crazy. We saw the trap jumping. It's cool though. Somebody said you forgot your purse in my house. Hmm. Okay, I feel like it's not used to be like that. Um. Now I really came on here to talk about the Amber Rose situation. I was gonna post a TikTok about it. Um. And I, you know, I went and tried to, like, hit up my friends. Like, do y'all think I should talk about this? Because, you know, I know I'm going to get hella backlash if I do. But I didn't care. Y'all got to run errands today. It's my favorite lip gloss. Da, da, da. Y'all, I just have so much stuff, like, going on. Like, if y'all only knew, like, I've been just, I just keep so much stuff private now. But i literally been dealing with, like, a stalker situation, which is crazy. Um, really just went through some scary, scary, scary stuff. Somebody trying to bang my door down. Who will not leave me alone. Who is stalking me. <sighs> so, yesterday was my first day sleeping in my house again. Cause I've been gone out of my house. I just been, you know, it's just a lot. Um, yeah, so I just been dealing with a lot. Speak on the Jocelyn and Amber Rose situation. I'm about to. I, I'm gonna. I'm gonna. But um, yeah, it's just been a lot. It's been really a lot. I literally had to like barricade myself. First of all, I had to sneak past my front door barricade myself sneak past the front door that this man was trying to bang down and barricade myself in my garage with my gun and sit in my car and lock the doors i was too scared to even open up my garage and reverse out of my garage because my car is so loud and my garage will make noise so i had to wait for the police to come it was a very scary very traumatic situation like very terrifying and most of it got caught on my ring camera um just nuts and apparent was it a fan no it was somebody that i went on a date with one date that i literally kicked it with twice and um it was I literally went on the date with him like two months ago told him i didn't want to date him he had like one of the reasons well one of the things that i thought was weird was like he had this notebook and he was like yeah i want to show you something and like it was like I kid you not, I tried to take a picture of it, but he wouldn't let me take a picture of it. At the top of the page, it was winter written in big ass letters. Like, you know how in that SpongeBob episode where he's trying to write the essay and it's like the, and like the T is like hella like done up. Like my name was written in those letters, like at the top whole page. I'm talking a thousand words of my intentions with winter, make love to winter, have her fall in love, have a conversation about like over and over just hella stuff. And, um, and it was just crazy. And that's when I was like, nah, this guy gotta go. So I was like, you don't seem too affected by Jackie O's passing. Um, I mean, I am devastated for Jackie and her family. Of course, I am very devastated. I mean, you know, it's messed up. Me and Jackie hadn't spoke for years, like since... I left Atlanta pretty much so maybe like five years and the last time I saw her I wanted like we saw each other and I was like should I say hi like this is kind of awkward we haven't spoken years over some real petty bullshit like honestly the stupidest thing you probably could think of but um 
I'm in shock still, honestly. I'm hella in shock. Like, I don't even feel like it's real because I haven't seen her in so many years that it doesn't even feel real. Like, you know, like, because I already haven't seen her in years. So, I don't know. I just, I can't even believe it. Like, seeing people post all this stuff is just like, I don't, I just, it's just not clicking. Like, I don't get it. It's just very strange. And it's just so sad. Like, I would have never thought something like that would happen like at all when i saw it i was like this has to be fake but it just doesn't even feel real and then you guys know last year i went through one of my close friends passing away who also had three babies who also passed away very tragically and i feel like for me after that is just like i'm very numb to a lot of stuff honestly like i'm i grieved my friend kayla so heavily and it was a similar situation honestly it was a it was a similar situation and i just feel like numb now you know did i see what azalea banks said yeah i did see what azalea banks said and she is just a nut i'm sorry i can't even feed into it she's just a nut like what do you even uh, it's just uh, i don't even understand how you can get on the internet and say some shit like that some say, why do you always fall out with people you seem cool? Well, first of all, I'm 30 years old. So if you think that I haven't had friends and not talked to friends in 30 years, you're crazy. Have you ever quit talking to a friend? Everybody quits talking to friends. Everybody goes through things. It's just your life is not publicized. So it does not seem like you go through friends because ain't nobody checking for it. Unfortunately, people are in my business. Some said you can't keep a man. A man can't keep me, baby, because I'm always out the door. Okay? And everybody knows that about me. I'm a dump them. People just drift apart. Yeah. Honestly, me and me and Jackie were talking over the stupidest. Stupidest shit. Like it was so dumb. And it makes me sad that, you know, just shit like that happens. But I'm happy that nothing, it was nothing serious. Somebody said, where's Tariq? Baby, I don't know. <laughs> the hell? That's why I hate when people find out who I'm dating. Because, babe. Sometimes just motherfuckers gotta go. They just gotta go. How did your other friend pass? I really don't want to speak on it because I don't think her family wants to speak on it. But um, it was a very sketchy situation and I don't believe really what they say. Literally at my friend Kayla's funeral, I didn't know what happened. When I went to her funeral, I didn't know what happened. I was like, did she do this to herself? Like, I was asking at the funeral. I was asking her friends. Like, you know, I don't know really what's going on. And um, I knew something was off, though. I, when I tell you we were at the funeral, I kid you not. I told people this, but they don't really understand. I'm standing outside of the funeral home. Just viewed her body, okay? Just viewed her body. There is a white van okay a tree a tree falls over this is in front of a, the whole funeral party falls over and crushes the van i have a pictures of the tree on the van but it was like some crazy shit it was like kayla was like no they're not telling you something blah 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 and i know and i know for a fact that it was some shit behind closed doors the way everything you know played out and it's just scary because like that also that situation made me i will never trust nobody ever ever i'll never trust the husband never touch a spouse never trust a friend i'll never trust nobody because the thing about these people in this world is they're sick 
and they'll do you dead wrong when you pass away like for real go to a medium we've gone to medium everybody went to mediums her mom is a medium kayla's mom is a medium so we already did all that it was definitely some shady st stuff going on with my friend's death that's 100 percent fact but um the case tried to get reopened and they basically didn't reopen it and um the cameras were cleared from the night that she passed away and yeah there's really just no way to prove anything someone said please don't that's letting evil in no it's not post a tree picture i'd have to go on my phone and find it but it's crazy it is crazy. Doing mediums is a sin. This is not a Christian page, babe. I'm sorry. This is not a Christian page. This is not a Bible thumping page. Y'all gonna have to take that over to somebody else. It's not that page. I'm gonna be real. Somebody says, so what do we think happened to her? Sorry, I'm just joining. Um, I think she was intentionally murdered. I think my friend was intentionally murdered. I think Kayla was intentionally murdered um, in a way that is pretty much untraceable. Either she was intentionally murdered or somebody basically... I think she was intentionally murdered, actually. That's all I think. It's either she was intentionally murdered or... Um... It was an accident, but nobody spoke up and took the blame for it. So, yeah, I think it had something to do with her husband or her um, her close friend that was, uh, I guess, staying with her or something. I'm not going to say the cause of death, but that's what I think for my friend Kayla. Or an accident trying to cover it up. Yeah. But I'm pretty... I th I don't think it was an accident. I think it was like an insurance money thing. Was the surgery related? No. It was not. But anyways, I don't really want to get back into that. I only brought that up because I was talking about how I had a friend that I was close with that, you know passed away and had three babies as well and I grieved that situation last year extremely extremely like heavily and I just feel like I'm very numb now and it's just it's just really scary but um somebody's I hope your stalker at least get arrested so he didn't get arrested the police trespassed him from my house and they said if he comes back um we will put him in jail so I was like okay and they were like, yeah, like, um, you could take out a restraining order. So I'm going to do that. I have like all the information to do that. And then it was crazy because I told my assistant and I was like, yeah, like, I'm sorry. Like I hadn't been responding to her for a couple of days. And I was like, um, I was like, yeah, like I had this stalker situation. She was like, wait, what, what was the stalker's name? And I told my assistant the name of the guy and um i told the name of the guy and she was like oh my god like you know they've been emailing you like crazy and um they've been emailing you like crazy and i thought it was just a crazy fan and blah 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 so even after the police had left my house like the other night um he continued to call me. he called me unblocked so i finally answered because i wasn't at my house anymore and I answered and he was like, oh, I'm in love with you and you know me and I know you and I'm God and um, 
please let me prove it to you and i'm like bro what i don't even know you like that like we literally linked like two times we went on one date like what is you talking about like even when we were on that day he was like you know you're my wife right and i was like no i'm not i don't know who y'all think i am what kind of girl i was like yo like you're tweaked out and then he was like oh i'll never hurt you and i was like yeah you'll never hurt me i'm gonna end up hurting you though you need to never come to my house ever again like what you're crazy weird as hell on some schizo stuff it's like no you need to get up out of here i'm gonna end up catching me a case you get into this house sounds like he has schizophrenia that's what i thought the white guy y'all i never dated a white man y'all that was a joke that i told on youtube hella long ago i literally y'all i had vlogged a date night with this guy that i was talking to and in the video he was like hi guys and i was he was making that voice and i was like yeah i'm on a date with a white man i swear People have stuck to that and they really been like, oh, is it the white guy? Is it the white guy? I'm like, y'all, I have never dated a white man and I really never would. Like, for real. Be, be so FFR. Somebody said he was trying to apply pressure, but it was the wrong kind. I'm saying that's what the cop said. The cop was like, I don't know. He, he thinks he's Romeo or what it is. Baby, this is not that. This is not your love story, what you're looking for. This is not that. I am not that girl. So last night, I literally was my first night sleeping back at home. I was just so nervous. I had such bad anxiety. I, I was shaking when it was time for me to go to sleep. I was literally shaking and I was just like, this is crazy. I, my boo slept on the phone with me because I was like, just stand up on me. I'm just scared. Because literally like when the guy had popped up to my house, I had just hung up the phone with my boo. He had fell asleep on the phone and I was like, okay, I'm about to hang up and legit 10 minutes later my doorbell ring i'm like what who's at my doorbell someone said what if your soulmate is white <laughs> well i guess i'll never meet him <laughs> uh. somebody said are you friends with B. Simone? How do you feel about her charging for her close friends? She's always charged for her close friends. She's been doing that. Um, I don't, B. Simone really don't have no ill intentions. She's not like a malicious person. She's not really like that. I think that obviously like people took it the wrong way, of course. Like we know how people are on the internet. They're going to take stuff and, you know, turn it into something negative. But she's not a malicious person. And I know she didn't do anything you know she didn't do that to be like oh pay to watch me grieve she she wasn't doing that but you know people have their own opinions but yeah i'm friends with her and i know she's not a malicious person so do you think it's distasteful i mean it's still distasteful everybody's definitely entitled to their opinions um i think that when people like receive backlash online it's just um people just go too far like you know it's like we're allowed to make mistakes as human beings but it's like when you're in the public eye it's like you make one mistake you say one thing that's wrong and it's like okay for people to stone you alive you get what i mean and it's just like people just take things too far like it's okay to be like well that was distasteful i don't agree with that but it's like i hate her i want her to die like it's like okay y'all ain't never made a mistake y'all ain't never done nothing all right it's just people just take things too far these days oh yeah so the amber rose situation so yeah so i was gonna make a youth i'm not a youtube i was gonna make a tiktok in response to this girl's video because obviously you know i've been seeing like all the you know all the backlash that amber rose is receiving from the um college hill situation and i'm like i am shocked that people are backlashing towards amber i'm sorry what she was literally getting attacked and people are back are are lashing out on her instead of jocelyn okay um but i just wanted to speak on that so first of all a lot of people are saying oh amber's lying because about not fitting into black spaces because she has been such a big part of black pop culture which is true she's been a big part of black pop culture whatever but 
if you yourself, and I want everybody to hear me on this, if you yourself have never had the experience of being a white passing biracial person, you should not have so many loud vocal opinions about being a white passing biracial person. You've never gone through it. Why are you trying to invalidate something that you have never experienced? For example, I cannot get on the internet and speak about my experiences as a black woman because I do not have any. I don't have any experiences as a black woman. I only have experiences as a biracial woman. That's it. And I just feel like, you know, biracial people are not allowed to have a voice. We're not allowed to speak on things. We are not even allowed to tell people our experience without being attacked. How are you going to sit here and tell me that I have not had uncomfortable times in black spaces as a white passing biracial person? Have you gone through this? Have you experienced it? No, you have not. So it's just not right and it's not fair. Jocelyn sat on that camera and said, I, I chose what I wanted to be. I was going to choose to be Latina or I was going to choose to be black and I chose to be black. Babe, I don't know who told you you need to choose, but you don't have to choose. Afro-Latina is a thing. You can you can be both, babe. You can be mixed. You can whatever, whatever the hell it's called. You don't have to choose a side. And that's another thing that mixed people go through. Everybody wants you to pick a side. Pick a side, pick a side, pick a side. Are you white? Are you black? What is it? You need to tell us right now. Figure it out. Especially when you're white passing. There, the girl on the TikTok video was saying, Oh, well, as black people, we don't gatekeep. We accept everybody for who they are. And we don't gatekeep blackness or whatever. But I'm like, you don't know that because you have never been in a situation where somebody has to gatekeep your blackness. Because you are visually black. There are a lot of people in this America that it like that believe if you if your skin looks white then you are white if your skin looks black then you are black and it's just it's just not fair like it's not fair to make somebody choose between what they are when it's white black and mixed it's its own thing it's its own thing it's own thing it's own thing you don't have to pick a side and i feel like when i speak about these topics i know people get tired of me talking about it and i know that people don't really like hearing mixed people talk about you know their experiences because it's kind of like oh I know it's so hard your light skin tears like and I get it and I get that perspective I'm sure it's annoying but nobody else is gonna speak on it so there's a big part of me that feels like I just sacrifice myself and let people tear me down and attack me because I want my message to be heard and I want biracial people to be able to speak up for themselves and speak about what's wrong a lot of stuff happens that's wrong Amber is getting attacked all over the internet right now is wrong because why are you guys trying to invalidate her experience like if you have not experienced it why are you trying to invalidate the experience i don't get it and then especially like y'all agreeing with jocelyn and it's like not super shade but like what do you even be talking about like legit you jocelyn be off the rails off the hinges all the time legit all the time I'm sorry, I'm not taking anything that you're saying into consideration and actually thinking that this is reality. And that's why I know so many people are delusional. Like, what? Some said, I just feel like I have nothing to prove. Exactly, and you don't. And nobody should. Nobody should. If we're all going to be on this internet and act so anti-racism, anti you know, I'll, I'll, if you want to, everybody needs to be pro-black and don't be colorist. You don't take a problem and fix it by focusing in a different direction. You just fix it all around. Like, what is the point of tearing down another group of people because of the color of their skin if the message, the overall message, is to be fair and good to everybody? You're just turning it around into a different thing. Bullying Amber Rose. Like what? I'm sorry. 
What? I just feel like as human beings, it doesn't really matter what race you are. We just have to do better and treat each other nicer, a little bit nicer. We all go through different things in life and it is okay to have your experience. Nobody should be invalidating anybody. And I think that everybody should be listening so that we can do better to treat each other better. Period. It's like everyone is like, blah, 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 that's not true. That's not true. If you just take your hands down and listen, babe, you might be filled with a little less hate. All I'm saying. So, obviously, seeing the stuff that Amber Rose is dealing with all on Twitter, and obviously, I've gone through it, so I know how it feels. It is very frustrating for people to tell you about you and what you experience and what you go through and what race you are and what you need to identify as and blah, blah, blah. And it's just like, it's draining. It hurts. It does. It hurts. It hurts your feelings. So, I feel bad for her going through that right now. So, yeah, that's my opinion on that. Also, I want to tell you guys something. I'm, uh, okay. I wasn't going to announce it, but I guess I'll just tell you because I really haven't been on live in a long time. I'm crying. My daughter is eight and she calls people roaches. I am so sorry. That is so my bad. <laughs> um, I am starting a podcast with somebody very special to me and i am so excited guys like i never wanted to do a podcast but because i'm doing it with this person i'm just so excited so i was reading a comment so that's why i paused yay i'm so excited like you guys y'all know i never wanted to do a podcast i was always like i'm not doing it i don't want to it's not my thing but oh my god i just feel like this is gonna be so great so fun already have the first like five episodes planned out it's gonna be so funny oh my god i'm sorry i'm so excited should i tell y'all who it is can you guys guess who i'm doing my podcast with it's not ryan she lives in Philly now. Is somebody who lives in LA. Oh, you guys, and I'm just so excited. And like, everybody's been like, oh, I want to see you in front of a camera again. And we're doing it in front of a camera. And like, we went to go look at the podcast studios. And like, I saw myself on camera and I was like, I miss this. I belong here. But for real. <laughs> that's really how i felt i was like i literally belong here like i want to be in front of this camera with my own control over what i say and what i do and you will not edit me to be a fool period oh some say you're perfect for a podcast you have a lot to say you're wise you're intelligent you are a hard worker thank you <laughs> Who do y'all think I'm doing the podcast with? Who do you think I'm doing the podcast with? Yes, 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 yes. I'm so excited. We're, sh we're shooting our first episode this month. I see some people guessing the name. No, I'm not doing it with Isha. Y'all know Isha is like soft-spoken kind of. She can't come on the pod. She can come on the podcast. She can't be on the podcast because even when me and her do stuff on YouTube, y'all be like, y'all, you just talk over Asia. But she's just, she's just quiet and I'm just loud. That's just how we are. No, y'all. It's not a boy. It's a girl. It's shy. It's shy. Me and shy are doing a podcast. Yes, we are doing a podcast. We have the name. We got everything situated. I am just so excited. 
it's shy you guys keep spelling her name wrong it's c-h-y not s-h-y not orion i'm crying orion is a special guest actually yes me and shy are doing a podcast and if you know me and shy together you know this shit is about to be off the chain y'all know it's about to be funny as hell because all we do is crack up all we do is crack jokes blah 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 like we're just two clowns living in our clown world have any guests in mind we are going to be having live guests um but we're going to do some stuff on our own first and then we will start having guests on is it going to be on YouTube? No. We're going to do everything on Patreon. So we need them subscribers, subscribers, subscribers. And it's just going to be great, guys. But we are going to do certain things on YouTube, like vlog, like behind the scenes, and like vlog certain stuff, just so that people can kind of get a taste of things. And we're going to do like, you know, obviously clips for social media so y'all can see what we got going on on there before you um, subscribe. Um, so yeah, I'm excited i'm excited i'm excited and i haven't been excited about something like this in a long time so yeah why is everybody saying boo not patreon what's wrong with patreon patreon's great patreon is um it's a platform for your podcast Are you going to at least drop the audio version on Spotify or Apple Podcasts? We might. So, oh, some said they don't want to pay. Unfortunately, we do have to make money because we are spending a lot of money to make this podcast happen. So, yeah. Sorry, y'all. Why not Spotify, baby? Because Spotify don't pay the bills, hun. It might be on Apple. It might be on Apple, though. We just got to figure all that out. But I know for a fact we're doing Patreon. damn y'all y'all cheap as hell well you don't have to listen if you don't want to get patreon it's okay it's gonna be all right but you're gonna be missing out because it's gonna be great so period but anyways y'all i've been sitting in this car i really gotta run errands i spoke on what i wanted to speak on and just that's what it is so yeah i'm done with live for now <laughs>